If you're coming from Illustrator, the first thing you'll probably find, where's the line tool in Affinity Photo? Or Affinity Designer for that fact. Well, if you just go over here and you look down all the various, there's no line tool, which is odd because one of the great features of this tool is if you go here, just create a shape and then click the arrow keys, you can generate all these additional shapes very quickly. Great way of creating a grid. And it would be great to be able to do lines like that. Unfortunately, there's no line tool. So what you can do, just simply go over here and select the pen tool. So pen tool, just click on the document and then of course hold down the shift. You want it straight line. Well, it's gonna be a straight line anyway, but you want it down straight down, that is. Just click there and then you've got a straight line. That's it. However, say you want to actually create lots and lots of lines. Well, you can do that. Simply just go over here and select the move tool. So with the move tool then selected and this shape, simply press return or enter on the keyboard and this will pop up. And you can set a number of duplicates. So a number of copies, you can put it to, now of course, unless you've set any of these, nothing changes, lots and lots of layers, lots of lines are created. And then you can simply just change this horizontal value. And then you can see as you do that, you've got all these lines across. Now, you don't see it here, but there will be lots of layers of these lines. And also you can modify the angle. So you can just change the angle. You can also change rotation and so on. Also the scale and much, much more. So it's quite a lot of power there to create all kinds of designs. So any point you want to create a line, simply pen tool, click, and of course it doesn't have to be straight down. Line can be any angle. Just click there, but of course, if you click and you drag like that, you'll notice you get a curve. Don't want that, so you just want to click and click and you've got a straight line. And of course, once you've got that, you can then modify the stroke. Just go up here and just click stroke and maybe change the color. And the key thing is the pen tool or the shape tool is selected. And you can then modify this. And also you can go here, click here, set the width, so you can change that. So you've got the cap there, you can change that so you can see as you do that. That will change, of course, the line as well. You've got all the same sort of things that you'd expect. You've got various curves, triangle, arrows, etc. Personally, generally, I always keep it as none, but you can see you've got a variety of options there. And also you can go for dashes as well. So you've got this, just your standard solid line, and then you've got dash line style. So you can create that exactly the same as in Illustrator, whole load of options for creating different line designs like that. Let's just go back to that. And now, exact same as before, you can then press return or enter as long as the move tool is selected. Just press it, won't happen. You need to have the move tool selected and this panel will appear and then you can duplicate the lines and obviously click OK once you've done that. If you want to reposition the line, simply just go over here and select the no tool. And with no tool, just click here, make certain you click there, and then you can just drag it around, reposition it, and obviously shorten it, make it longer, etc. You'll notice up here, the stroke is set to red. You can also set it to a gradient. Simply just go over here, select the gradient tool. So gradient tool selected there. It will not work straight away. What you need to do is set the context. So just go up here and set it to stroke. Once you've done that, you'll notice you've got this option. You've got linear, elliptical, radial, conical, and bitmap. So you can go for, say, linear, linear or elliptical, and then simply just drag there. So you've got now see a gradient on that line. Also, you'll notice you've got this bitmap. So you can select that and then select a file. And let's just select a file, any file, an Adobe stock image. Click open. And now you've got your image along that line as well. And of course you can modify it simply by just dragging this around, resizing it like that, and create all kinds of unique designs for your line. If you want to turn it into a pixel layer at any point, what you need to do is go up here, layer, and down to rasterize, or you can simply on the line here, just right click, and you can go down here and you can rasterize as well. And that's turned into a pixel layer. It's no longer a curve. 
Hope you found this video of interest. Always adding new tutorials about Affinity Designer, Photo, and also Publisher all the time. Also, there are hundreds and hundreds of other videos about Affinity Photo. So if you want to find out all about the various things about lines, shapes, raster layers, all those kind of things, you can find them on my video channel. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.